Rebecca Robeson with Robeson Design Studio in San Diego, California, and I'm going to show you today how to put Christmas balls and ornaments on your tree in a not contrived way, but in a way that looks natural but balanced. This year my color scheme is going to be the greens, different shades of green, blues and aquas, and then I'm going to go with the clears and whites and golds. Each of these has been put away with this green bubble stuff in between and it keeps my balls safe. I don't keep them in the original cardboard containers because it takes up too much space. Secondly, this was something I came up with a couple years ago and I think personally it's brilliant. At the end of the season I take the hangers, put them in little individual baggies and I drop one in each container. That way I don't get to the time where I'm going to put my balls on and go, where are those hangers? I know they're somewhere because they are somewhere. They're always in the last box you open. I start with one color and I fill in where everywhere I need it where it looks balanced to me. Then I go to the next color. I also put the larger balls typically on the bottom and the smaller ones as I go higher. So start with one color and we're going to start with green. I think this is really the, the trick and the key to great decorating a tree and that is I put my balls deep inside of the tree and work my way out. One of the things I really love about Christmas balls is putting them on a rotator. If you notice here, this ball is on a rotator. Isn't that pretty? It just makes it look so magical and dreamy. We're going to put one in over here and I'm going to show you how. And I'm going to take this bulb out of the tree just momentarily and if you can't remember where it was, put a piece of ribbon here to remind you. I'll set this aside and then I'm going to take the rotator and put it directly in there and you're going to see how it works. So this is what the rotator looks like and you see the end here? It fits right into the light socket. So I'll take this and I'll wrap it around the branch a couple of times just so it's not dangling too long. You got to see this. This one is like one of the famous one for a rotator. You got to see this. Let's see. Isn't that cool? I just think it adds such an element of glitz and glam to your tree. I try to put about a dozen of them on a tree this size. Another really cool thing and something you need to remember when you're doing your balls. It's really important that you try to hang them so that no other branches encumber them. See how this one's almost touching? We end up pushing our branches down because we want them to actually hang, almost look like they swing. You don't want them to be sitting on top of the branch. I remember this particular ornament sitting with my grandmother making these together when I was a very young girl. They're all made with the pins that have the pretty heads. How about this one? In fact, I just got goosebumps when I lifted it up because this is symbolic to me. It was the first beautiful, expensive ornament I ever bought when I first got married. And when I bring these out every year, it just brings back so many great memories. Well, Daniel and I have the tree pretty much done and we like it, but we don't love it. We've done all the things that we plan to do, but now we think there's got to be something, there's something missing. So here are some of the things we were thinking about. We were thinking about adding gold ribbon. We also have this turquoise and then we have this turquoise and gold. Then I also have this kind of cool uh, iridescent cellophane paper that we were thinking about adding.
All right, it's after midnight and Daniel and I have finished the tree. I hope this helps you with your own Christmas tree this year and I would love for you to leave me a comment below and let me know what's your color scheme for Christmas for 2012. We'd like to know that, wouldn't we? Yes. Yes, we would. We're gonna go to bed now, but tomorrow morning, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. A lot of you don't know that I read all the comments that you leave. And I remember some of the comments last year. People were asking, do you decorate this all yourself? What about your family? Well, let me tell you the tradition in our home. We do have a living room Christmas tree, and that's the more formal, more elegant, more when you walk in and go, wow, tree. But in the family room, we typically do a tree as a family. We spend an evening together, and we all decorate the tree. We have hot chocolate or whatever. In fact, it's raining here in San Diego right now, so when I get my family together, it's gonna be very fun. I hope it's still raining. We usually have a fire in the fireplace, and we really try to bring back the memories of Christmas. Of course, after the kids go to bed, I fix where they placed their ornaments. True story.